All right, how are you doing? So today I'm going to be eating um, Iranian or Persian food, whatever you want to call it. Now, a little caveat straight away. I'm very new to Iranian food. I love it. It's my new favorite food, but I don't have a lot of experience with it. So um, I'm really going to cock up a lot of these names here, the pronunciations and stuff. So bear with me and um, maybe you could correct me. Anyway, we've got a little selection of stuff here. Uh, where shall I start? Well, kebab or grills. Um, from what I can understand and what I've tasted so far, Iran have mastered it. They've really got it down. Now, I've spoke to a couple of Iranian friends of mine who go, yeah, the best kebab or grills in the world is from Iran. But a couple of my Iraqi mates have also said the same, so a um, little bit of a debate there. But from what I can see and taste, I think they've really got it sorted out. I think they've really got it good. So what we've got here is a chicken kebab. Uh, I think the word for chicken is juja, I think. So this is a straight chicken, charcoal. I've got some tahina sauce there, a little bit of trimmings, white onion. Here I've got a uh, cello kebab. Cello kebab, I've got one uh, chicken and one lamb there with the rice and some trimmings and you put butter on it as well you get a little, usually get a little sachet of lurpak or something like that and you pour the butter on really lovely this is a soup called ash or ush a s h or a u s h um i've got a few notes so I, well, I should check out actually but we've got some noodles in there some spinach dill things like that really delicious and then we've got one two three stews here there's more to come, by the way, because it's, it's vast, this, this cuisine. So I've got a couple of stews here. So I've got a uh, gourmet sabzi. I've got a, what's the other one called? I can't bloody remember the name. I'll pop it up now. This is a lamb. These are both lamb, actually. This one is with eggplants. This one is with, with potatoes. Just blowing my mind, this food at the moment. I'm loving it. This one here, the green one, the, the sabzi, uh, it's got quite a lot of um, black dried lime or lemon in by the taste of it. And then a little salad, a Shirazi salad. Shirazi salad is just tomatoes, onions, cucumbers, and a you know, bit of mint maybe. And then I've got a couple of dips here. They're both made with eggplant. One's got yogurt in it, mixed yogurt, like roasted eggplants and yogurt. And the other one hasn't. Yeah, I'm not explaining this really well, am I? I'm going to pop some info up. Like I say, I'm a proper novice, but I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And again, loads and loads and loads of bread. Right, let's have a little taste of this soup, the ash or the ush, whatever, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, spinach, dill. It's quite a thick thing. It's quite a thick soup. Which I really love. A few chickpeas in there. Now, um, one sec. Yes, yeah, so this is called Ash Osh or Osh Reshte. And uh, the Reshte means noodles. A couple of notes here, I'm cheating. Like I said, I don't really know a lot about it, but just love it. The kebabs vary obviously from place to place. This one, what I've ordered. It's not the best one I've had. This is not the best cello kebab. There's also another kebab called uh, Sultani, which is a, you get a couple of different things in there, but you get a nice piece of lamb, a bit, bit sort of wider than this. Can't open them. I'll have one of those later. Um, let's go for some chicken. I mean, it's good. It's saffron. Nice with a little bit of tahini or ta tahina. Let's have a little taste of these guys, the, the dip sort of things.
That's excellent. I really love that. Nice and creamy. And the other one, let's try that. Honestly, so it's quite similar, but very, very good. Okay, let's get in and have a little bit of the, and this is the sabzi, which I think means green or green herbs or something. A few red kidney beans in there. Some lovely meat. Nice, super soft meat. Look at that, really lovely. Lamb. I mean, that's out of this world, that is. That is really good. And then what we've got here. Okay, this is the one with mamia. This has got okra in it. So it's lamb, okra. Tomatoes. Yeah, lamb and okra. Again, lamb. Oh my God, it's fantastic. Even softer than that lamb. Oh wow. Well, okra, as you may know, is also known as ladies' fingers. I don't fancy going out of any girl that's got fingers like okra. And this one here, same again, I think. Let's taste. Same again, but this has got eggplants in it. There you go. Really lovely. Mm. Now, there's a few desserts that I want to check out as well. It's kind of some noodle desserts and some ice cream stuff that is really famous from Iran. And again, a massive country. So region to region, the food's going to change quite a lot. But it's my new favourite food. And I really love it. I'm going to tuck in a little bit here. I'm quite excited about these guys. I'm more excited about the stews than I am about the kebab. But that's maybe because this is not, it's not fantastic, this one I've ordered. I've had better. But I think I'm going to go to a place to get the dessert. Oh, there's another thing I want to show you. That's coming in a minute. It's a cake. It's a chicken cake. It's basically a rice cake with chicken in it. Really fantastic. Let me eat a little bit of this and then we'll get on with showing you a few other bits. Lovely. Oh, it's fall off the bone, just brilliant. I feel so lucky. I feel so, so lucky. So once again, I really encourage you to get down to your Persian or Iranian restaurant if you have one and if you haven't on your travels maybe to a larger city or something like that get online and see if there's one there because it's, it's divine really divine but going to Iran it's a bit difficult I think for most people just politically and um, I'm in Bahrain at the moment and it's really near here, it's not far at all, but getting over there has been a bit difficult. Although there's, there's quite a lot of Iranian people here and in the Gulf. And there are flights, but I think for me, being a UK passport holder, it might be a bit difficult. I'm saying that, I have no, no knowledge about it, I just kind of think it would be. Mm. My God, I'm blown away with this. Right, we've still got that rice chicken cake to come, which is a strange thing, but fantastic. Oh, look at that. Talk about soft, juicy and tasty. Now, a friend of mine, who's Iranian, his mum come back, I don't know, a few months ago or something, 
And she brought these walnuts with her. And they're just, they're just not like any other walnuts I've had before. They're, just, they're slightly bigger, they're, they're just so tasty. So I think diversity of food over there is incredible. Like I said, I'm, I'm really new to this, but I'm, I'm really trying to get into it. And I hope you do as well. But yeah, I've been missing this nearly all my life, like an idiot. Because this food is outstanding, outstanding. Right, I'm in again. I've got some potatoes here, which I really want to eat, but because of my diet, I'm not eating potatoes at the moment. But I bloody love potatoes. Mm. 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 Bloody amazing, I mean, just marvellous food. Really, really cool. Lucky boy. I wish, again, I wish you guys were here sitting with me, enjoying this. Because, I mean, again, I'm not doing it justice. My explanation's been bloody awful, so I know, it's been useless. I'll stick a bit of text below or something, explaining what we've had here. But yeah. My new favorite food. It's my new favorite food and I've been missing out for years. I'm in love. Right, so look, check this out. It's like a birthday cake, isn't it? You're going to think there's um, chocolate cake or something in there. But it's actually, it, no, I'm going to murder the name again. I think it's called Tashin Morg. But it's basically rice with chicken inside. It's an incredible thing. It's got some pistachios on the top and some berries. Um, I've had this before and it blew my mind. It's a really, really beautiful thing. I've not seen anything like it. So I'm going to... See, I'll just cut it in half for you. So you can see what's going on. Look at that. Chicken, rice, saffron. It's... I think it's cooked with yoghurt as well. That's an amazing thing. I mean, just one more amazing thing from Persian or Iranian food. I'm really, really, really loving that one. Unfortunately, I can't eat rice at the moment. What a shame. Hmm. I'll eat these berries though. And the pistachio. That's a wonderful thing. Try and check that out. Check that out for sure. <laughs> 